All right, we're here with the little 964. So we briefly touched on this in our update video. So what we're gonna do now is pull the seats out. Then we're gonna head downstairs and we're gonna let Sarah explain to you what she has going on with it. So we're gonna jump into that. It's racing seat. Okay. Do you want to clap? Do you want me to clap? Do you want to clap together? <laughs> You're like, I'm bringing back the clap. I'm like, um. um. Okay, so we're downstairs in the upholstery shop. We're about to hand these seats off to Sarah. So what the plan is for these is the customer wants a more cohesive look in his car. So we got the matching leather to his factory interior. We're putting a factory Porsche hound tooth in it that sort of brings the three colors of the car together. So I'm gonna let her explain what she's gotta to do to make all this happen. Do it. I've never seen this project before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so Tim just dropped this on my table. The seats for his customer's Porsche. And then yesterday we got a package from Relicate uh, of uh, their Pepita Hound's tooth. And then we got a couple hides of the uh, their grain, grainy biscuit leather. So I'm going to wrap the whole outside pattern and, um, and create the whole outside in the biscuit leather. And then the inserts for this are gonna be the hound's tooth. And that should pull the interior together very nicely. I found a Cheeto. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Yeah, and then this all just Velcros off. So there. So satisfying. Oh yeah. That's cool that it all just comes off. It comes apart so really easily, easily, yeah. easily, but putting it back together, not so much. And then we just steam this shit out of this. Yeah. Yeah, cool. cool. R.I.P. fingernails. <sighs> I sewed through my finger five months ago. I didn't even cry. <laughs> I, cry I cry over everything. <laughs> Was it just a shock that just... Yeah, it was horrifying. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't even believe what had happened. I have a picture, not a, well, I do have a picture of my finger, but the, but the needle on that machine broke into four pieces and the thread was still attached through the hole, but none of it got stuck in my hand. Oh, oh, that's, Which is I mean, good, that's good, yeah. Because I would have had to go to the hospital yeah. and got them to like, cut my finger open and pick out a piece of like metal. Wow. Yeah, or pull it out backwards, which is like, what? Right? So that was in September, now it's just grown back. Yeah, so I'm gonna start making a pattern. I know exactly where the middle is. And I marked it on one side. Mm -hmm. um, I don't always do it that way, but I want this to be sym symmetrical, right? And I want to know that this line here ends up on the same pattern line as this line here, because I want it to be perfect. But yeah, so I trace this and then make it symmetrical and then just kind of straighten out the lines and even average it out. This is just a test. That's why we make a test. Let's 
See what else is on the curve? Gone. Greeny biscuits. Yeah, the name just makes me hungry. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Famous, get your old media guy. <laughs> God, and sit beside the sewing machine. I will, I'm going to. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't quote, we need you. <laughs> you have to make these seats. What? Oh my gosh. I don't think that happened. <laughs> hey, what did you do up top there? What do you like to know? Well, you, you have to replicate it. <laughs> no, you gotta replicate it for that. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> oh, you can replicate it for that. <laughs> oh, see, now at least he has Kim struggling to put it in and then say. Yeah, the c continuation. Watch it for fashion. <laughs> <laughs> this, this movie is gonna be great. <laughs> see, what it all comes down to is who's paying for the movie. <laughs> Feels good. Just the translates right now. I thought you were doing stuff. I was anticipating your return and you're over here making breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> What's for breakfast today? Uh, same thing I eat every single day. Except this one has no berries in it because I ran out of berries. Oatmeal, chia seeds. Hemp heart, pistachios. Mm. See how bougie that is? Sounds very else. healthy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right there is like oh, oh, yeah, and then the I got this yogurt. Oh my god. It's the best. It's the best yogurt I ever had. It's plain yogurt with a hint of honey and oats in it. It's so good. I eat every single night. It's not, I never. Greek yogurt. But it has to no, but that's how it comes in the jar. Oh, really? In the tub. No, I like, make it like that. Because I make icy plain yogurt, but it said on it with a hint of honey and oats. And I was like, it sounds like me. So I got it. I just ate the whole thing. Sounds glorious. I make it Delicious. with deep stuff. It's amazing. It was some bougie $37 a like box. Oh my like gosh. Just poop every day. Harvest crunch kind of <laughs> thing. <laughs> You gotta keep the leather at the edge of that blue line. That's the that's your distance. Seam allowance. Okay. Half an inch. And then hold the. You can't give me instructions. I gotta look like I know what I'm doing here. Well, I will. You will in a second. Now hold pull the threads to the back and then step on it. Wait, wait. Step on what? The thread no. needs to go through the middle of that foot into oh. the back. Oh. See, Ned Greg so never ever told me that. It up. That's probably why my hoodie looks the way it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then hold the threads back. While this I do it? The, just in the beginning for the first stitch. This is like, yeah. Like, a, especially the top one. Boom. Now I just crank this up and pull it out. No, and you got a back stitch, one stitch. Why? A Q. Okay. You can step on it. Stop. And now hit the back button. Which back button? And that's how Tim made a car. Yeah. <laughs> By himself. The whole thing. Look at it. Boom. Wow. Life changing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> you want to try a top stitch? It's tough being this awesome, but you know. It's, it must be hard being incredibly good at everything. I know, it is. So here's the seat that Tim made all by himself. With absolutely no help from me. Deep down, I know, Sarah was just hoping and praying that I sewed my finger to this piece of leather. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what happens when you sew your finger is it doesn't go right through your finger. My fingernail just grew back, but what it does, and I have a picture of it, is snaps the needle into four pieces and one uh, of them gets stuck in your hand. Remember the last okay. time? Again. No, huh? Carry on. What do I say? Sorry. What do I do? I'm stealing all the credit for the seat, so I guess you can have my clap. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're downstairs. We're about to grab our seats and put them back in our little Porsche project. Sarah did all the made patterns and redid this all in a matching factory leather, this grainy biscuit color. And then we did the Porsche Pepita at Houndstooth in the center that ties sort of all the three colors of the car together to give it a more co cohesive sort of look and just clean it up a little bit, lose a little bit of that race vibe, but still have the functionality of the seat. So I'm gonna let Sarah tell you all about what she did. I took the old pattern apart and I, I changed the seam line so that they, uh, kind of match the shape of the seat a little bit better to the front. And then we recovered the um, the cushions that it came with. Actually, I made a new one for this back one because the old one wasn't, I didn't think it was thick enough and added more foam to it. So it was a little bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, added some double stitch details down the side. Okay, so yeah, the seat's done. Uh, we made it. <laughs> we did it! <laughs>